Over the last few decades, Twin Cities nonprofit Can Do Canines has changed more than 800 lives by matching service dogs with those in need. But what many do not know is the story of the dog trainers behind the scenes to make it all possible. Even while incarcerated, these men are making a difference in the lives of people with special needs. Our Bab Santos has a look at this unique partnership. Here in Black River Falls, Wisconsin, Jackson Correctional Institution houses nearly 1,000 people. But you might not have known, this prison is also home to dozens of support animals. There's nothing like it. Yeah, it absolutely transcends anything you could ever imagine in an environment that we're in. Inmates here will tell you, behind bars, every day feels the same. But now, with 60 to 100 dogs in seven prisons between Minnesota and Wisconsin... And we are going to start off with just doing a little bit of loose leash walking. Every day is different. It's amazing. It's like learning a whole new language and a whole new culture. Can Do Canines coordinator Diane Larson comes in once a week and lays the foundation. And I want you just to get them to spin in a circle. From there, the inmates return to their cells to build each puppy up into a service dog with about 70 commands. I always say it's like, like living with a roommate and a dog in a room the size of your bathroom. <laughs> when it's all said and done, the dogs are able to pick up items, open doors, and even get help during an emergency. And if you see the life that the dogs have here in prison, if I were a dog, I would totally want to be here. All thanks to these men, Stephen, Todd, Tom, Emmanuel, Louise, Richard, and 40 others at Jackson, behind bars for a range of crimes in a range of time. 14 more years. I got 25 left. <laughs> A little over eight years left. Go ahead and tease. To get into the program, the men must pass Reese, Reese. an extensive screening. But once in, they credit these dogs with removing tension among inmates and giving them a newfound sense of purpose in an otherwise monotonous life. The love that I cannot give my family, that I need not my family of, I can give to this dog, and this dog is going to go out there and pass the love that I'm giving this dog. To somebody that really needed. Working without pay, the inmates are teaching the dogs. See? But the dogs are teaching them too. I think you become uh, selfless as opposed to uh, starting out as, as being selfish. I can already feel this the, an empathy building within me by putting her first. After six months, the dogs move on, eventually match with a person with special needs, bringing some crucial help to families impacted by autism, diabetes, seizures, hearing loss, or immobility. <laughs> truly understand how deep this goes and that we and care it means a lot to us it's remarkable it just warms your heart makes you proud that you know i had a part in helping that dog and helping that person you know back in new hope can do canines is a nonprofit making it all happen providing the dogs that would normally cost about forty five thousand dollars now free of charge Sable, come. life changing resource made possible in part because of these men Inside Jackson Correctional Institution, What's this? Bab Santos. Yes. <laughs> What's that? Fox Knight.